come home and record after a day of doing things that you don't want to. Like, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with school. It's just some days you really don't want to go or you really don't want to do anything at school. So it's really hard to make yourself do something after school after you spent you know how many hours you were there like uh for this you know like your credits in college are directly tied to the amount of hours that you have you spend in each class uh for a week the demolition duo has returned one barbecued ammo dump served up hot we saw something odd while torching that ammo the Baron's guards were giving barrels filled with eco to a group of metalheads. Really? The Shadow will be very interested to hear that. You know, so far, your gigs have been easier than stealing grass from a sleeping yak house. <laughs> you and the rodent want to start proving yourselves? One of our suppliers needs his payment delivered. A bag of eco ore. Take the Zoomer parked out back and drive it to the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon in Southtown. Ask for crew. He'll be there. And don't let the Baron's patrols stop you. By the way, when you get there, pump crew for information. He's wired into the city and may know what the Baron is up to. You can count on us. Are you still here? Alright, let's get out of here. While Jack does some crazy moves on the floor. Yeah, it's your uh, your credits in college are directly tied to the amount of hours you spend in each class. So let's say you have three classes a day for an hour, and I'm possibly going the wrong way. But it, yeah, if you have three classes a day for an hour, the hour in each class, you would have for three days. And we'll put it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because that's usually the classes that would be like that for uh, Wednesday Wednesday and Friday for each class if you spend an hour each class for three classes you would have uh, ow. you would have nine hours in a week for just Wednesday Monday Wednesday and Friday and then it would be the same for uh, if you had something similar Something similar for like uh, Tuesday and Thursday. So at the moment, I have, I guess you say, 15 hours of uh, classes each week, which may seem not seem like a lot, but then again, you put into consideration the uh, the amount of work and level that college requires. It's not quite what it would be like if you were in uh, high school so it, it takes a little bit more effort to I guess do well in uh, college and ow these guys are fucking lighting my ass up I gotta get over there it it's so close I'm so close I'm gonna I'm gonna do some little crazy moves so I can dodge bullets Oh, I'm so close. Oh, 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 I made it. Ow. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Don't forget to Everything's ask. cool. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. Your crew? Well, we shook the heat, and your shipment's in primo condition. That's good, I. Eh? Because a cargo ready to go fat as fuck. is worth more Damn. than ten of your lives. And of course, I'd be forced to collect slowly. <laughs> the underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here, the Shadow's mascot of the month. Ooh, soft. Zig, this fur would go well with my silk suit, eh? Listen, uh, tons of fun. Anyone can see that you uh, and I have the real juice in this burg. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? We did you a favor. Now it's your turn. 
Why is the Baron giving eco to metalheads? Questions like that could get a person killed, eh? Sieg! Here, Capitan, here, and his friend. Bonus. If you want to see what that big oh, I got it going. Try the gun course outside. Show me some skill with that hardware, and I'll hire you for a job or two, eh? Got a gun. And I've completely forgot what I was talking about. Give me a second. I might think of it. Uh, oh, I remember what I was saying. Uh, yeah, like, I, at the moment I have 15 credit hours in college. Now, actually, at the beginning of the semester I had 18, but I had to drop a class because of my fucking insomnia acting up. I went through like a week and I went through like a week and a half where I could not sleep at all on time. Oh yeah, that's hot. Yeah, I, I went through that and it kind of sucked because Wow, you made me waste my fucking ammo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Work it, Jack. Work it. Alright, yeah, I'll quit. But yeah, it, I went through that about a week and a half. And it, it really sucked because I, like, I had to drop the class because of the fact that, uh, literally I was way too tired to go to the class by that point. But that's also because a lot of the time was spent, uh, with me trying to get sleep at night. Or I would go home and I would go to sleep. And I'd kill the civilian. Oh well. But I would go home and go to sleep and then wake up late at night and then I couldn't help but to stay up all night after I woke up so it, it really sucked after that but uh, yeah it's so I eventually had to drop that class which dropped me down to 15 hours and that sucked but then again you know they tell you at 12 hours in college you're considered a full-time student so you know They'll, they'll even tell you once you get up there that uh, anything like 15 hours is uh, a lot more than you would actually need to take. You can't. You quit creeping. You too. Yeah, it's like 15 hours is usually more than what they would recommend for you to take in college. So it's... It wasn't all that bad. I guess. Oh, I just missed every one of those. Yeah, so I did that. Uh, and my insomnia still acts up from time to time, which is... It, it's going to happen eventually. So I really can't complain. I blew that civilian up. But yeah, you get used to it. And then I'll just have to take that class later, I guess. Oh, I failed. Can you open the door now? Oh yeah, excellent shooting. Yay. Yeah, I got that use that, so now. Oh, that just means I have one more class to take after that. Which even then, like a lot of professors, you know, as students and as uh, you know, growing up, going through high school, where you have to show up, you know, we learn the fact that uh, you know we get to the point at which we don't want to go to school anymore. And a lot of people, like a lot of professors up there at uh, 
Well, I guess you say at community college, a lot of professors would be more lenient. Excellent you know, shooting, kind of another fucking cutscene. You ever thought about being a wastelander? Hmm? Can't say that I have. Wastelanders find items from the outside the city walls, eh? Any artifact or weapon worth having comes through my hands. Work for me and I'll throw some of the sweeter items your way. Kill metalheads? Get toys? Sounds good to me. Slow down, Jack and a fat man. You two had better run that by me again. Cause there's no way I'm going outside the city to face more metalheads. Sig will show you the ropes. So you want to be wastelanders, and oh boys? Well, we'll see what you're made of when we get out in the thick. Crew wants some new trophies to put butts in chairs at the hip hog. So I'm going to bag him five nasty metalheads at the pumping station. Don't wet your fur, Chili Pepper, because we are rolling with the Peacemaker. Woo! I need one of those. Where'd you get it? Don't ask. Sig needs someone to watch his back while he tracks the metalheads, eh? We'll meet at the pumping station. Listen, Cherries. Don't you leave me dangling in the wind out there. Let's do it. All right, let's go, Sig. But back to what I was saying, uh, a lot of professors at a community college are a little bit more lenient. But even then, like most professors will tell you, when you get into college, it's your responsibility to show, your responsibility to do the work. No one's, you know, in your ear telling you that you need to do this, you need to go to school today, nothing like that. But they will also tell you that if you have to drop classes, uh, just because of the fact that another semester will not hurt you. It, a lot of them would actually recommend that you would drop a class and then take it again the next semester. Just so you can get your grades up in other classes. Which is probably what I should have done at one point. But then again, I'm not the type of person, like, if I take a class, I plan on, you know, going through with it. Which is probably... A lot of people would like that. But then again, it's not... It doesn't seem what it is. Because even if I... Like, I've... Had, that's just my mentality, though. Like, that's how I've been the majority of my life. But yeah, the... So they'll pretty much tell you, you know, if you're, uh, like, if you go up there and you talk to them and, like, you're failing class, they'll tell you to, they usually give you one or two options, uh, one would probably be to take the grade, because a lot of professors, I just died, it's nice, yeah, they'll tell you to either take the grade, just because a lot of, uh, professors will not do uh, what do you call it? Extra, extra work. Yeah, that's what it is. A lot of professors will not do this. They'll either tell you to take the grade or drop the class and take it the next semester. Which there will probably be classes that people would do that for anyway. Like, right now I'm in trigonometry. And I can promise you I don't understand half the shit that goes on in that class. But then again, I never really like really like that style of uh, math work. I'm better at geometry. I hate algebra and I love geometry. But that's just me. Uh, there's people in my class that is uh, a guy in there that can literally figure out easily how to work a trick problem. And it's weird because For one, trigonometry is so different in math-wise, but that also goes along with like calculus and stuff. Open this door. Open the door. Yes, yeah, so that's all that. Hey, Sig. Hello, cherries. Ready to hunt a few metalheads? Follow me. Stick close and watch my six. It's gonna be fun. Here we go. 